terrible lighting, terrible lighting, better lighting. Hi everybody, I'm Amanda the G and I'm on vacation. So vacation vlog, woo, now he got sick. This is day one. It's Friday and I actually went to work this morning. So it's like half of a day, but it's day one. We're going with it, day one. I went, I went to the gym. I'm just gonna let him click. You're just gonna deal with it. Who's crazy? Are you crazy? Then I filmed a video, which I had wanted to film, but I was sick. And then I went to Hobby Lobby because I thought I was gonna get stuff to recover this couch that I destroyed in my basement. Here's what I did. Here's what I did to this couch. This is the couch that got stuck up in the corner when I was trying to bring it down from upstairs. It's my old couch that I hate. <laughs> so my plan was to put more foam in it, make it like a double armed chaise lounge type of thing and then recover the whole thing. And I went to Hobby Lobby because, oh God, don't die. Um, I went to Hobby Lobby because the fabric was on sale. It was like 30% off. I was like, okay, I'll look at it. I'm not spending 70 bucks for freaking fabric to recover a free couch. So instead I got some stickers and I scheduled to have my HVAC cleaned for the fall cleaning that I clearly postponed way too friggin' long to make sure it's not gonna kill me with carbon monoxide. Um, so they're coming <laughs> this week. And I also scheduled my home internet to come. So I'm going to actually have internet in my house again, which is weird, because I have not in years. But now, I'm gonna eat some food, and I'm gonna watch the Olympics. And I can't show you that, because I have a feeling if you broadcast the Olympics, even in a little bit, they're gonna be mad at you. Day two, and I have just gotten home. This lovely, lovely look is brought to you by two hours at the gym, followed by a walk in the rain, which wasn't raining at first, but now it's raining, so. Yay, good thing I wore my rain boots. And then I come home and I see this, and I'm reminded of how much this closet sucks. There's shit everywhere. Shit everywhere in this closet. So now, I've decided that on my to-do list, I'm gonna add fix that damn closet. And now you see why Amanda doesn't daily vlog, because one, my house is a fucking mess. And two, I don't do a lot of super fun shit. <laughs> my vacation is doing shit around the house. I'll see you guys after I take a shower, because this is gross. Actually, let's knock off the to-do list. Let's give the dog a bath. You can put the paws up. There you go. Good boy. Good boy, Ali. You good boy. No, no, no. Good boy. Good boy. You got good boy. I know, I know. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, what a good boy. Believe it or not, that's like the least painful a bath has ever been. Ever. And I'm taking a shower, no, clean. And we got one load of laundry in and I'm about to do something that I consider brilliant. And hopefully you consider it brilliant too. And if you don't, oh well. It's not your house, it's not your stuff. Deal with it. This comforter is in a cover and it keeps moving. And you have sections of the cover with no comforter in it and sections where there's like a pile of freaking comforter. And also it's a pain in the butt to put in and to figure out where things are going. So I've come up with what I consider a brilliant damn solution. I'm gonna put snaps in it. I'm gonna put them one way on the top and another way on the bottom and I'm gonna put a corresponding snap on the comforter on the inside. And then if I get a new cover, I just put four more snaps on the cover based on the top and bottom. And then I'll always be able to find the top and bottom. You just snap in all four corners. It should spread out easier Hopefully, that's the thought. And then it stays out, and then you have your comforter everywhere instead of like my dog hogging all the comforter. Yeah, that's right, Ollie. I know what you do. You're a comforter hog. High five. Good boy. That's his trick. He likes to high five. You have a pokey thing and this. And the pokey thing goes underneath, and this goes on top of the fabric, and then you hammer it on. Snaps are on. Laundry is in, and Second load of laundry is actually in now. And the first load's in the dryer and hanging up in the bathroom because not all of it can be dried. And I am now going to eat for the first time all day. And then I'm gonna edit 
which is super thrilling. Look, it's the Olympics, don't look. It's classified. I'm just taking my little video file and transferring it onto my computer from my SD card. Super thrilling. Oh my God, you take over the world. The lighting is shit right now because it's, it's nighttime. I have my sixth load of laundry in the freaking dryer because I don't know, I waited too long to do all of this. But I'm gonna see if my plan worked because now there's snaps on that. So theoretically, you just put the mountains in the little holes since the mountains are on the top on the inner thing and the bottom on the outer thing. It should be easy and it should just be simple. <laughs> it's working. It's all to each corner now. It's all to each side now. You just have to snap them and then fling it. It works! Day three. Good morning. I have coffee. All the coffee is mine. I'm gonna wake up now. I'm gonna have coffee. And then I'm gonna be super fun again and edit all day. Breakfast, yum. Okay, now that I finished editing, I moved that painting over there just so I have room on my table for insanity, also known as scrapbooking. I just finished 36 pages of scrapbooking, which if you scrapbook at all, you know how extensive that is. Um, but hacking is the dog. It's like, yeah, it's like almost six o'clock at night. Um, this is the aftermath on my table, which I clearly need to clean up because it's everywhere. And then there's more on the floor too, because there's never enough space for all of this. Day four, I'm exhausted right now because my alarm went off at 5.10 and I'm going to the gym. But I planned on this. I planned on my alarm going off this early because I have to get my run in before the internet people come. So we'll see how many crazy people there are at the gym at this hour. Also, that's a Capri Sun on my night table because I got really thirsty in the middle of the night and I didn't feel like getting a glass to get water, which I probably should have done. So instead I picked up a Capri Sun that's in my fridge that was left over and it took me forever to get that stupid thing open with that straw because I didn't want to turn any lights on. I'm back from the gym. I just ran for like an hour and then I went and stretched for a bit. So I did intervals, one on, or one off, two on, whatever. Um, and I just, I have my sock here because that's blood. Um, I was like, I think my foot's bleeding about halfway through. Yeah, my foot's bleeding. In high school, my cross country coach used to get mad at us and every time he did, he said that he would make us run into their feet blood. So Mr. Forbes, my foot is bleeding. It's like seven o'clock in the morning. The dog is still asleep. I gotta take a shower and then get dressed and then move the TV so that the internet people can get to the plugs back there because for some reason in this house, the only place to plug in anything like a cable wire or a cable for internet is behind where my TV is. Three hours later, I finally have internet. Well, three hours after the guy got here. Look, my house looks actually kind of clean, but you wouldn't think that because there was mud all over the place that I had to clean up. And then the guy asked for a towel to put under his shoes and it's been raining. So it's like, okay, well, I figured it'd be like water. It was caked in mud. So it's a good thing that I gave him a shit towel that I don't really care as much about. But now I still have to clean that towel. And I just did seven, six, six, six loads of laundry, something like that the other day. And now I just need more laundry. So great. And I'm also kind of pissed off right now because the guy is talking to people his whole time he's here, which is fine if you want to talk to people on your little Bluetooth headset. You go ahead and talk to people on your little Bluetooth headset when you're setting shit up. But he's like trying to explain shit to me and making phone calls and trying to explain shit and making phone calls. I'm like, just fucking deal with what we're dealing with here and then go make a goddamn phone call. Also, I heard him very loudly say outside and then hush himself as he was coming in the door and then say very loudly in my basement, which by the way, sound carries like no other in this house. I can hear everything that happens. Did complain about the dog poop in my backyard. Okay, first off, I work four jobs. I have no time. I'm taking a week off to stay at home to get laundry done and cleaning done. You think I have time? And then on top of that, it's fucking pouring rain. So I was gonna go out there and pick it up this morning after I went to the gym, 
but it's fucking pouring down rain. I'm not doing it in the fucking pouring down rain. Also, my dog just shits on the walkway because he's a jerk. So just go next to the walkway and it's fucking fine. And there's not even that much out there. And he's like, I'm gonna be sick, blah, blah, blah. You wanna complain about me? Fucking complain about me. I don't care. Complain about me all the fuck you want to. Complain about my yard all the fuck you want to, but don't do it in my house. Anyway, day four, I have internet and terrible lighting. And now I have to crochet more and then get some other stuff done. And I have to go back to my to-do list. Back there. It's so hard to point back there and see what else I'm gonna do today.